Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. We have day two of the McFarlane Toys' winter showcase. They're showing off some new DC Multiverse figures, whereas yesterday they had some new Spawn goodness to show off. A full video up on my YouTube as well if you want to go and check out all of Wave 3 thus far. But yeah, DC Multiverse, they got a couple new ones to show off for today. Hopefully they show a little bit more, that would be quite cool. But uh, as always, if you are interested in pre-ordering any of these, I will have links down in the description below. Thanks for using my links, helps the channel to grow. Nice and little, uh, little rhyme right there for you. But to start it off, we're going <laughs> to the Batman. We got Batmans to show off, just a FYI. So this is the Batman Who Laughs... Whereas he's just gotten infected and now he's doing all the terrible stuff before he uh, becomes full-on motorcycle fetish Batman who laughs. So, interesting color scheme. He's got the Joker skin going on. He's got the Joker grin. He's got more of a dark blue. He's kind of gone crazy, right? He's got the green bat symbol going on. It's not exactly the, the uniform he's got when he takes out... God, this is horrifying. He takes out the entire... Bat family. It's more so when he starts taking out the Justice League with you using Superman, and then horrifyingly enough, yeah, he has Superman kill his kid, and it's awful. It's <laughs> this this toy is in the uh, the kids aisle right there. That's cool. But he comes with a rather large green batarang, which I mean, I guess it's just it's a big green batarang. Is it a kryptonite batarang? Who knows? Who knows? But uh, at least he comes with uh, some kind of accessory. No uh, no guns, no nothing like that. No uh, vicious means of torture for the rest of the Justice League. Nothing like that. But um, very basic. It's it's just, it's okay to me. It doesn't really do much for me. It's a really horrifying look. Uh, Batman, Joker kind of mashup from the comics in that sense because of what he entails to the storyline itself. So, yeah, it, it's a, it's one of those, like, unsettling ones. It's just okay. But, uh, yeah, it, it might be for you if you if you want him. Next up is Duke Thomas from the Tales of the Dark Multiverse. Now, this is kind of like one of those, like, one-shot, like, real quick stories. I did really enjoy, more so than most of what they did with Death Metal and Dark Knight's Metal and all that kind of stuff, these little standalone snippets of like alternate realities, alternate universes, maybe the death of Superman went this way, maybe Batman became like a nanobot tech person. It very cool. Uh, I have to say a lot of the stories were very cool. The Duke Thomas one is awesome. He looks great. This is one of those figures where it's not classic DC. It's very much the modern DC, but dang, if that doesn't look Pretty dang cool. I got to give it to him on that. It's not going to resonate with everyone. That's where I think putting a comic book or something within a figure nowadays would really, especially with DC Comics, would really help. Because a lot of times when you have these new DC Comics characters, you the main comment's always like, what am I looking at? And I don't know necessarily if a lot of people who collect action figures read the comic books anymore. A lot of us, especially me, are uh, very much... Back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, early thousands of DC Comics, when they started really changing things up with the rebirth and multiple reboots and all that kind of stuff, it really did lose me. So I can't say that I know everything about anything anymore. You know, it's very simplistic. If you want to go the Batman animated series, Superman animated series, those are like iconic and key. And they really just help wrap up the story. It's very cool, very easy. Yes, it takes from old comic books and stuff, but... This is where I think people have a hard time really appreciating the look of these newer type characters. But the Duke Thomas one, I mean, I give it to him all day. He's got his really cool axe guitar thing going on. You know, a lot of these death metal, Dark Knights metal figures, they always have some sweet guitar action going on, of course. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, again, as obscure, as random as it is, he looks pretty dang cool. And more so like a medieval knight kind of thing. Maybe, you know, we got a medieval spawn coming up, uh, I'm sure, somehow with a Kickstarter. They kind of teased that yesterday. So if you're into the whole medieval stuff, or maybe even the Four Horsemen, you know, Mythic Legion, you know, stuff like that. It, it can kind of go if you wanted a more Mythic Legions type Batman. Just throwing that out there. But in either case, if you'd like a new Duke Thomas figure, yeah, you can grab him now if you'd want. And now, th th and this kind of harkens back to the whole, like, 
hey, if you don't read the comics, I don't really expect you to know much about this. The main thing, we're not getting a new bad cycle, right? We're getting a Joker dragon, and the face sculpt on that thing is awesome. I'll give it to him all day. It, it's a totally random figure. I, I understand people saying, like, what the heck is that? Like, I don't understand this. Well, yeah, I mean, it comes directly from the death metal comic books. At one point, you got a Batman riding it, right? There, there's, if I'm not mistaken, I think there were multiple Joker dragons, not just the one. The fa It's a very cool, very interesting alternate universe reality. See, I think that's where... I kind of fit into what McFarlane's doing. A lot of times it reminds me of the Legends of Batman or Tales of the Dark Knight, like things of that nature that Kenner used to do. So I'm not completely like, what is happening? You know what I mean? I don't understand this at all. It's kind of cool when you get when you get a cool design and it makes for a cool action figure. So I think that's where I'm really at with the Joker Dragon. I actually do like this a lot. Did I need a Joker Dragon? No, not at all. But since you made one and it's a... It's not another bat cycle in that big, uh, you know, vehicle box. By all means, that's pretty cool. I hope that you can put a Batman on it. That's uh, that's really what uh, I think would be kind of cool. Really nice display. It's got a little display stand so you can prop him up. He doesn't have any. He's got like like H.R. Giger kind of like little appendages right there, right? Little spiny things. He doesn't have like a saddle or anything else like that. So really is kind of straight from comic book cover or just a couple panels here and there. And that's where a lot of these. Figures kind of go. DC Comics, you know, they're really in that kind of realm right now. So we'll see what other treats McFarlane Toys will reveal, of course, coming soon. Hopefully it's all... I mean, I'm with you. I really hope that they do a little bit more classic stuff here and there while still doing wild, crazy stuff like the Joker Dragon. And if you are interested, you can go over to the McFarlane store uh, if it's still available. They have a special bundle. You can get all three of these new figures with a unmasked Batman of Zurin Arg. It's a gold label figure. No word just yet if this will be available in the store. I would kind of wager to say it probably will be eventually. I wouldn't say it's like a store exclusive. But uh, yeah, if you wanted to get all four of these together, unless you're going for more singles and stuff, uh, you can go over to the McFarlane store and grab them. Again, it's a unmasked Batman of Zurin Arg. I would totally prefer a masked Batman of Zurin Arg, to be honest. But... If you're looking for another Bruce Wayne or a crazy homeless man Bruce Wayne head portrait, yeah, this is right up your alley. And over on another, was it, toy site, toy sales site, they kind of tease some early figures they haven't exactly shown off just yet. But when McFarlane officially reveals, yes, we will definitely talk about those as well. Very excited for one of those. I'll definitely tell you that. So, I'm curious to know what you guys think about these new DC Multiverse reveals. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. I think there's a lot more coming, to be honest. If not today, soon, hopefully. And don't forget, head over to my Instagram. You can enter to win now. There's a couple hours left, depending on when you see this. So, it might be even fewer. But uh, you can enter to win a new McFarlane Toys Violator, the bloodied version from the spawn line. So you go ahead and enter that. I'll have the link down in the description below as well. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yes, more classic DC Comics villains. Villains especially. And heroes as well. But I do like the Joker Dragon a couple things here and there. Not going to lie. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.